الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. أما بعد صلوا النبي. Right, so today we got a new name, and that new name is Saleh. What's the new name? Al Al Mu. That's a meme. Al Mu. Al Halim. There in English. In English Arabic. But what does Al Halim actually mean? It's the calm one. The calm one. That's really good, isn't it? Allah, Allah doesn't rush. Allah, Allah does things in a very calm manner, in a very patient manner, in a very slow and careful manner. Maybe we can even say the careful one. Yeah. So what does that mean I'm then? I'm writing Sana? brackets at the top. Call. So what does that mean? So now I need you to write, why is Allah Al-Halim? I need you to write number oh. one. I need you to write number one. Allah is the calm one. Why is he I the calm one? one? Number one. No. Guys, one. guys, no. guys, guys, no. number no. one. Anything. You can come on this side, Muhammad. Come here. Right, number one. Come here. Write it there. Write it there. Look. Forget it then. Number one, Allah is Al Halim. Right, so come on then. Come stand here. He can't write properly. He can, it's fine. Come here. Write mm -hmm. number one there, where my one. finger is. No, not there, where my finger is. Not there, where my finger is. Not there, where my finger is. <coughs> not there, where my finger is. Not there, there. Not, not there, there. Not there, there. There. No, no I'm not too good me. Alright then. That's a big one. That's a huge one. Right, Allah is Halim. What does that mean? Allah is Halim with our mistakes. What do you think what that means? Do what do you think that... Now. Yeah, but this, that's why the one is big. What do you think the calm one... It's like a board. Why do you think the calm one is connected to mistakes? Oh. Look, we are studying about Al Halim today and everybody is being not Al Halim at all. And this is the reason why we are studying it. We need to be <coughs> calm. We need to be patient. Especially Muhammad. We need to be nice to each other. Especially Muhammad. Listen, Allah is the calm one when it comes to mistakes. What does that mean? He's the calm one when it comes to mistakes. When you do mistakes, Allah forgives it. Yeah, Allah waits and Allah sees. Is he going to make a stick far or not? Is he going to be a good boy and is he going to change or not? Is he going to stop doing bad deeds yeah. or not? <coughs> So now this is very important. Everybody is going to do something wrong. Everybody is going to do something wrong. But Allah wants us to stop and think, you know what? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I need to change it. Now this is very important because we live in a country. Listen, this is very important. This is very important. Listen, we live in a country where there are lots of Muslims and there are lots of non-Muslims. There are different religions. What religions can you think of, Saleh? Hinduism. Hindus. What other religions are there? Uh, Sikh. Sikhs. What other religions are there? Um, Islam. There's another religion called Judaism. There are Jews. And then you have Christians. And Muslims. And then you have Muslims. There's you enough. are a Muslim. Yeah. You are a Muslim. And you need to be Halim <coughs> with everyone. People who are Muslim and, and people who are not so Muslim. Not. So you cannot go around saying to people, oh, this person is listening to music, or this person is doing something bad, or this person is wrong, and this yes, person, you yes. can't do things like that. You can't yes, say, look, yeah, brother Christian, because, and because he's not... He's, them sad. Yeah, you will make them sad, exactly. You can't make people sad. You can't make people sad. You can't make people upset. You can't say things that are rude to other people. Just because they're different, it doesn't mean that you can say things which are bad. Why? Because Allah is al-Halim. There is a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Look at this hadith. Look at this hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah said that some people, they say that I have a son. Does Allah have a son? Do Muslims believe that Allah has no. a son? No. We don't believe that Allah. But despite that, even though that they are saying these things, Allah continues to be nice to them. Allah continues to give them food and drink and water and Did lots of different things. Now stop him? playing around, please. Right? Yeah, so now you exactly somebody could be drinking alcohol. Muslims don't drink alcohol, but does that mean they can be rude? Does that mean we can't live with them nicely? Does that mean that we can't say nice things to them? No. no. 
Allah is Al-Halim <coughs> and He loves it that we are Al-Halim. What does Halim mean? <coughs> it says calm there, but I'm going to change that. Well, I'm not going to change it, I'm going to add to it. If you can open this for me. Can right, let me write do it. Let me write it. No, it's fine. Uh, he is careful. Careful! Allah is careful. Allah is careful, Allah is calm, Allah is and kind, Allah and Allah is nice. And, and, and he gives you stuff? Yeah, exactly. That is because Allah, he waits, and he doesn't want bad things to happen to people. He has sabr. Uh, exactly, he has sabr, and he is nice to people. Even if people are being wrong to them, yeah. Allah continues to be nice, and Allah continues yeah, yeah, to so try I've to make people his friend, him. and make I people know, understand. I know why he does it, yeah. because because you want someone to be happy so he can do the right thing. Exactly. That's exactly the point. Well done, Muhammad. Allah is an Ali because he doesn't want to punish people. He doesn't want people to go to the fire. And he doesn't, he want, doesn't want people to have a bad life and do and things. And, they, and he doesn't want people to be sad. And, and learn about themselves. Okay. So the the other reason why Allah is Al Halim. I'm going to put good deeds and worship. Is there a difference between good deeds and worship? Yep. What's the difference between good deeds and worship? Uh, What's worship? Worship is when you worship. Allah. Yeah, so can you give me an example of worship, Muhammad? Worship. Like, for example, is Quran worship? Reciting Quran, is that worship? Yeah. Is Salah worship? Yeah. Is doing Kursi Falak and Nas worship? Yeah. Right. But what's good deeds then? Exactly, that is worship, but they are not worshipping Allah, they are worshipping something else. So now if they've got something that we don't agree with, does that mean that we can be rude? No, we have no. to be calm, we have to be careful, and, and we still and, have to and be and nice. we need to be like Allah. Exactly, that's what Allah does. And Allah. We need to think like Allah. Well, you can't no. think like Allah, but you, yeah, what you're saying is right, yeah. As in, Allah is nice to people even if they are doing something wrong that we think that they're doing something wrong it doesn't mean that we can go around saying ah you done something wrong or you're rude and you're not even a muslim and you're not even doing good deeds you can't do that no because 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 you need to be careful <coughs> you have to be careful you have to be, calm. You have to be nice you have to be respectful you have to use nice words and maybe they might not be doing something wrong maybe you're the one that's doing something wrong that's possible as well oh, no. right now i'm asking a question here can we sit down what's the difference between worship and good deeds uh, we just said worship is like salah but what's good deeds where's worship there's worship there look I want to yeah but then where's good deeds let me can you point a good deed right what's good deeds then what does good deeds mean good. i want to find a good 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 can we can we answer my question please what's good deeds on when uh, someone there's something good. Yeah, so what's the difference between worship and good deeds then? Worshipping is when you're like, what? It's actually a trick question. Karen? Doing something. Yeah. Okay, and then good deeds is when you are... Uh, um, doing something good. Okay, so can you give me an example of a good deed? Um, mm. not snapping someone. Okay, <laughs> right. Um, That's actually a very that, violent one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you always give violent examples. You're not a violent person. Stop giving violent examples, please. Okay. That's not nice. <coughs> and it's not from the names and attributes of Allah. And it's not how we should behave either, is it, Muhammad? Right. Worship is like good things that we do when we are trying to connect with Allah. When we're trying to make Allah happy. <coughs> but there is no difference between worship and good deeds. Because if a person is being nice, that becomes an act of worship. If a person says, you know what? Allah likes it if I'm nice to people, if I'm careful, if I'm respectful, if I'm calm. That way, if I do this thing, Allah will like it. Like Anything that Allah likes <coughs> is worship. So even if you see something on the road, for example, and you move it so that other people won't get hurt, that then becomes an act of worship. How is that connected to Al-Halim? That is connected to Al-Halim because Allah is ready to accept your good deeds. Like Allah is letting you live and like have a life. Do. Can you listen? Allah is letting you live and have a long life so that he can wait and wait and wait and see what is he going to do. Is he going to do good deeds or is he not going to do good deeds? Is he going to wake up in the morning and have a nice day or is he not going to have a nice day? Is he going to be alone and think bad things and do bad things? Or is he <coughs> not? Allah is Al-Halim. What's that?
What's that? What's that supposed to be? Smiley face. It's a smiley face that looks the other way. <laughs> right, okay. So what does Al-Halim mean, Muhammad? Face. What does Al-Halim mean, Muhammad? <coughs> The calm, Ca careful. careful. Good. Allah is calm and Allah is careful. How do we become calm and careful? What does that mean that Allah is calm and careful? Two things. Number one, He is calm and careful with our mis mistakes. mistakes. What does that mean? Then? That is two things. The, what does that mean? There's one thing. Can you answer the question? Why is it? Why is Allah halim with our mistakes? Uh. She's gonna see, will this person make dua or not? Okay, that's the second one. So the second one is, okay. is the person going to do good deeds? Is he going to carry on living his life in a good way? Or is he going to carry on doing bad deeds? What's going to happen with him? So Allah, if he wanted to, he can end our lives just now. Just, and then we won't exist me, anymore. Like... But he doesn't do that. He wants He's us gonna... to have a nice long life on earth. So that we can be nice to other people, we can be nice to Allah's creation, be nice to his animals and all of his other creatures so that we can do good deeds to please him. So then all of this becomes an act of worship, but also with our mistakes. We make mistakes, other people make mistakes, Muslims make mistakes, non-Muslims make, make mistakes. All of us make mistakes and Allah is al-Halim because he is waiting and he wants to, uh, for us to change. And most of the time he gives us a chance to change. And if he wants it... Yeah, so people make mistakes and now Allah gives us a chance to change. Go on then, sorry. Uh, is filming these names and attributes yeah. part of worship? Is it? Now that's a good question, is it? Or what we're doing here, an act of worship, learning about Allah, is that an act of worship? Yeah. And that if we're recording it so that other people can watch it and they can learn about Allah, is that an act of worship? Yeah. Why? Because? Because it's teaching them. Exactly, because it is something that Allah likes. To people likes. that and, don't and, know. Yeah. And to make them, and, and to make them do the right things and listen. Exactly, to that's it. So now we are helping one to another listen. to do good things. That then becomes an act of worship. I ask Allah and, that and, He is and, and Halim with make, us, and that He is nice to us, and that He forgives our mistakes and makes us better people, and gives us good actions and good manners and good behavior and good character and good words and good actions and good jannah and good rewards in this life and the next. هذا والله أعلم وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين